Hello guys, from this video I will be starting a new video series on access database tutorial for beginners. And in this first tutorial I am going to show you how you can create a new database and how you can create tables inside your database and how you can uh, give columns to the tables and how you can insert data to the tables. And I will be creating these videos on uh, Access 2007, but if you are using uh, Access 2010 or Access 2013, also you can uh, follow these videos uh, because there is uh, not much difference uh, in uh, those two versions of Access. So let's get started. First of all, we need to create a database. And what is a database? A database is an organized collection of data, right? So let's create a database in Access. Now, if you have already installed Access and you don't know how you can start Access, you can just go to your start button and search for Access here. And you will see somewhere in the search result Microsoft Office Access and the version you have. Just open it and it will open this for you Microsoft Access. Now search for the option called blank database. We are going to create a blank database. There are several templates also uh, for the databases uh, which you can choose but I'm going to teach you the basics. So we will start with the blank database. So just search for the option called blank database which is this. And in here, uh, on the right bottom side, you will be able to see uh, this file name. So this is the name of the database you are going to give. Okay, so here you need to give the name of the database. So for example, I want to create a database of the employee information. So I will give uh, the name to the database as employee info database okay employee info so i will be creating this database and i will insert some table in my employee information database or employee info database and you can save your database in uh, the specified location by default it will save your database in your documents folder but you can change uh, this default location by just clicking this button and you can just uh, change the location for example i will create a new folder here and i will name it as uh, access database okay so once again access database okay and inside this folder I'm going to save my employee info database okay so I will click OK and uh, then I will click this button called create and once you click this button you will be presented with this screen and here we will be creating the tables we will be creating the columns in the table and we can insert even the data into the table now whenever you create a table for example this is default table which uh, access has created for us but for example you click this button and you click this bit button without saving it uh, then it, this will not be saved inside your database so i click this cancel button and now you have the blank perspective yeah so because we haven't saved this table it will not be included in your database now let's create a new table in the employee info database for that you will see here some tabs right and so these are called tabs and in here 
there is a toolbar and you can choose any uh, tool to create or do different stuff here so what i'm going to do is i will go to this create tab and i will choose a table and when i choose this table it will create a table for us but first of all before creating a table we want to design our table first right so i will just click this button design table and you will be presented with this perspective and in here this is the field name data type and description field name is the title of your column of the table and the data type is the form in which your columns will take the input i will describe this data type in detail when i create some column and the description by the name you know if you want to give the description to your column you can give it here so let's get started so for example i want to create a table called um employee employee data table for example right so employee data table what uh, it can contain it can contain employee id employee name employee surname phone number country city whatever you want to uh, have in your table so we will start with employee id so i will say this table will contain eid which uh, means employee id and the data type of this employee id will be a number right employee id can be a number or it's better to give it auto number what auto number does is it will increment automatically and you don't need to uh, increment it by yourself i will show the demonstration and you will uh, understand so this means the data type is the form in which your uh, column will take the input so this employee id will take input in the form of number right and because it's auto number it will be generated automatically you can give text data type memo number date time currency there are diff many different data types here but employee id is an auto, for example auto number and here you can give description for now i'm not giving any description here the second column name uh, for example i will give is name and it's not necessary that you will uh, you know give this name uh, in capital letters or small letters you can give it in any case but just uh, remember don't give any space like name uh, whatever name name so don't give any space in between it's not a good practice okay so just give the name of the column like this or you can give the name of the column like first name so i haven't left any space in between these two words right and this first name data type will be text yes because data type uh, for uh, first name names are the strings of words right so or uh, word so this will be our text data type now the last name will also be a text right because last name is also a string now for example we want to give the date of birth of an employee right so i will name my column name as dob which stands for date of birth so i can give the description here dob stands for date of birth right and date of birth is a date so data type will be 
date time here now you can do uh, certain things with uh, your date data, data type uh, so when you select this uh, row here which is dob you will be able to see this general property fields here and the first field here is the format in which you want to show the date okay so th there are different format you can show your date you can show a date like 19 minus 06 minus 2007 and the time also you can show this like this 19 and the full month name in text and then the year 2007 or you can have different format so for example i choose this format called medium date okay now there is a way in which you can also input the value which is called input mask okay so for example i want to input uh, the value in the form in some form just select this and just click this three dot button and you need to save your table first for that so i will say yes and i will give uh, the name of my table here okay so i will say my table name is employee data okay and i will click okay and i will say yes so you immediately see here my table name change to employee data here right and now i have input mask wizard and in here i can choose uh, this input like this you can choose in which form you want to give your input and it will show in the form you chose in the format so i will choose the same input as i have given in the form the format here but you can choose any input type here and i will click finish here okay now we create for example country employees country so this country will be a text and for example you your employees or your company is located in a specific country for example USA then what you can do is you can give a default value to a column also so for example i choose this country row or column here and i go to the properties and there is a property called default value and i can give the default value to my column so that it will always show this default value for example usa right and i will add some more columns here but let's see how our table looks like till now so you can go to this view button here and just click it and it will ask you to save the changes you say yes and you are now in the view of the table so you can see here we have eid name last name date of birth and the country column has default value usa which we have given default value now there is a concept called primary key so if you don't if you have noticed that this eid has this small key symbol before it it's not necessary that you need to give a only this to uh, to your this key to your um, uh, column but what this primary key does is it is a row or it is a column which uniquely identifies your row data okay because each employee id will be different or unique in itself two employee id cannot be same and that's the primary uh, uh, purpose of primary key so primary key is a identifier which is unique in itself okay so employee id 
in our case is a unique column which will distinguish the row data and uh, you can uh, remove this primary key by, by just clicking this word button once again you see here now there is no primary key you can give the primary key to any column for example this one or you can change it to this one once again but try to choosing the primary key which is unique so which contains the unique data and you will be able to differentiate your row data on the basis of this primary key so two primary key cannot be same okay as a rule of thumb okay now uh, we go to uh, we will save this and we will go to the view okay and when you see here because it's a auto increment when i click here in this first name column and i enter some value for example mark this is auto generated because you you see here it's auto number so it is automatically generated even if you don't give any value to it okay so it has taken the value one last name for example some name date of birth you see here it takes the input in some format we have given in which we have given so it takes the format we will give the format 19 june 88 for example and the default value for the country is already usa and once you enter the data for the table you can save your data and this data will be saved right you can once again go to the design section and you can add more values here right so what else we can give we can give telephone number for example so i will say phone and you can give phone number as a numerical value so naturally you will think that if it's a telephone number you can enter the numerical value but for example if you want to uh, give your phone number in brackets uh, with your country codes or some uh, city codes then you can always choose text and you can go to go to the property and you can choose your input mask so i will leave it as a text and i will go to input mask and i will click this button once again and i will say yes and there are some default input type which you can choose for example password phone number or you can create your input types also so for for example you want to create a input type for your phone number i have already have this input type phone number but for example i want to create a new input type for a phone number what i can do is i can add it list i can just click this button add it list and i will say next because phone number one phone number already exists and then i can give a new input type in this list so for example i want to enter new telephone number and the input mask so input mask is the form of data in which you want to enter your data so this can uh, be seen from the help how you can in give input mask so just click your help here and it will open this page here and you can scroll down and there is a table here and this will give you an idea what is what so whenever you give zero here user must enter a digit when you give nine here user can enter a digit digit or whenever you give l here user must enter a letter and you can read this list 
what is what. So for example, I will give this zeros here so that user must enter the values because the phone number can, must contain a certain number of digits, right? For example, I will give this bracket and inside this I will give 0, 0, 0. So I will give bracket 0, 0, 0. Once again, a bracket and then a normal number. So this three number will be, for example, city code and outside the bracket will be the phone number. So I will give, for example, five digit phone number or six digit phone number. So I will add six, six uh, zeros here. Okay. And once you are done, just close it. And it says field cannot be empty. Sample data. You can give sample data. For example, the uh, city code is 222 and the phone number is 123456. Okay. Or 5. I have entered only 5 zeros. I can add one more. And I can add one more 6 here. And I will close it. And you can see our data type is added here in the list. And you can finish it. Now whenever you go to view, you just need to save it. And you can see here, you can enter the number in the format you have provided. Some number. Okay. Now, for example, your employee comes from different countries and you know the list of the countries you want uh, in this country column. So just go to your design, just select your country column and there is a data type called lookup wizard which enables you to give a list or list of values you want to provide. So just choose this. I will type in the values that I want. Just choose the second option and click next. And here you can give the list of values you want to see. For example, first value of the country is USA. Second will be UK. Third maybe India. Fourth maybe Germany, China, and France, for example. And just click next and click finish. So now, when you go to view here, just save it. You and when you want to add it, this country, you will have this combo box and you can see you have the list and you can choose the values from the list okay so for example i choose china and i save the data and i give one more data for example some name surname and the date of birth Mm, let's see what can I give date of birth and the telephone number starts from here and I will just save the data here so in this way you can create a database you can create a table you can create a column inside the table and you can punch in data in your tables so i think that's enough for this video uh, in the next video i will uh, discuss some more uh, features of access database so i hope uh, you will be watching these videos and i hope you have enjoyed this video please wait comment and subscribe and bye for now